Hello everyone out there on the internet, I'm Batosta, and today we're going to react to Chris Webby Raw Thoughts, the official video. Now I've been saying that I'm going to react to Chris Webby for a couple of days now, but I just haven't gotten to it. So, finally getting onto it, it's a five minute song, which is probably the biggest I've done so far. So, uploading is going to take a long time. That's fine. Um, I don't know what to expect. I know he's a rapper and a lyricist. That's about it. I think he's independent, or at least he's got his own record label. And I know he's fire from what I've been told. Everybody's saying he's just a raw spitter. Like, he's just bar for bar. So he's got this Raw Thoughts series by the looks of it. I think there's five of them at the moment. So we're going to start at one, because that's the one. I've been told to start at five because it was the most popular one and that's what they wanted me to do but I don't want to do that, I want to get through them all first so one, two, three, four, five, I don't care, I'll do them all if I like them obviously so as always, I'm sorry about the video quality I know it is not the best but I'm a bit broke at the moment and I'm on the job search but as soon as I get some money coming in I'm going to invest in YouTube try and get a better camera, maybe a microphone, editing software all that fun stuff. For now, it's kind of what I have to do, though. So we're gonna get into it. I have the official video down in the description, like a link. So check that out before you check me out. Obviously, support Chris Webby before you support me. Um, I've got lyrics over here on this screen, which I'll be looking at every once in a while if I can pull them up. Sorry, I came unprepared. This is my mistake. Chris Webby, Raw Thoughts, Lyrics. Okay. Now we've got it. So, without further ado, with that little mistake there done, we're going to get straight into it. So, Chris Webby, Raw Thoughts, 3, 2, 1, let's kick it. Yeah, when be it? Nice trumpet. We talk a little shit, man. Talk some shit, man. <laughs> well, he's gonna talk some shit, so let's hope I can catch the shit he's spilling. I don't know what I'm going into. I don't know if it's gonna be emotional, if it's gonna be deep, it's gonna be silly, it's gonna be like political I have no clue <laughs> it's raw thoughts though so it's gonna be his thoughts his just his what he's thinking about at the moment when he's writing it yeah. sorry about pausing I pause a lot because copyright I don't know what his copyright situation is yet so I'm gonna be pausing just for copyright but I'm gonna try and make it so my pausing you know I'm explaining stuff I'm giving you guys context to make this a reaction video and not just me staring at the music video a little shit, man. Talk some shit, man. <laughs> Bitch, you dumb, release the cracking. I'm up on Mount Olympus while I'm rapping. So when the lightning strikes and water's churning, thunder's crashing, and them twisters touching down like that movie with Bill Paxton. Oops. Me up in my studio, that's what's making it happen. Never okay, he's doing like hard lyrics here. So, yeah, Kraken, Mount Olympus. Obviously, got that Greek mythology in there. Um, He's got Twister's touching down like that movie with Bill Paxton. Is it just called Twister, I think, is the one he's talking about. Love that movie if it is, but pretty sure that's Bill Paxton. So, you know, he's causing the storms. He's the one with the lyrics fucking just owning the game. I love his I also love his voice, it's really unique. And thunder's crashing and the twisters touching down like that movie with Bill Paxton. Me up in my studio, that's what's making it happen. Never doubt me, got a suit of armor, biggest Gronkowski, and a sword that's even bigger, killing everyone. No Gronkowski, is he the, um. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what he is. He's the. Is he WWE? No, he's, um. Rob. Is it Grub Gronkowski? Um. He's that really big man. Like a football player or something. I don't know. I don't know my American football, but I know he's like a really buff guy. 
I've got the lyrics here, so it, I think it is Rob Gronkowski. The Gronk. I know, let me know if I'm wrong about that, but I think it's the football player, but I don't know too much about American football. Go back a bit. Round me, swinging like Tasmanian devil until I'm. Oh, I didn't go back. Sorry. Was making it happen. Never doubt me. Got a suit of armor, big as Gronkowski. Yeah. Saw that's even bigger, killing everyone around me. Swinging like Tasmanian devil until I'm drowsy. Then I pop another Addy and blast off like Robert Downey, like Iron Man, the kind of man that knows no one can beat me. He's got the Tasmanian devil swinging around reference because you know he does that little spinning shit he does. He's got the blast off like Robert Downey. I love how he did that. He's got Robert Downey, like Iron Man, the kind of man. I don't know. He's got a nice flow. I don't know what he's going on about yet, though. He's just talking about, he's just flexing at the moment. I think he's cooking, he's cooking. Being blast off like Robert Downey, like Iron Man, the kind of man that knows no one can beat me. The kind of man that's destined to be king, just as Rafiki. The kind of man to step into the ring, just like Rakishi. And make you kiss my ass on broadcast national TV, later smack down. <laughs> oh, Rikishi. Oh, I used to watch a bit of WWE. Uh, can you imagine that? You're in the ring, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to just have a, a matching box, a, a boxing match, matching box, and you just get a big, sweaty, grown ass man butt in your face. The disrespect. National TV, you never live that down. You'll always be known as a person who had. Uh, Rikishi's ass on your face. He was wild, I'm telling you. Just like Rikishi, and make you kiss my ass on broadcast national TV. Lay the smack down on all these whack clowns in the circus that used to be referred to as the fucking rap circuit. I'll wrap circles around these cats without scratching the surface and make these mumble rappers step back and start acting nervous. And if they aren't nervous, then they don't know what I'm saying. Maybe they can't understand it with that first grade education. Maybe they too fucking high off cough suppressant medication as they wearing skirts with a matching purse while they putting braids in. But that's I don't like talking disrespect about mumble rap because I haven't heard enough and I don't want to, you know, assume from the very, the little knowledge I know, you know, I like some mumble rap in the car. If it goes hard on the bass, I listen to it because driving around at night with loud 808s on the subwoofer is just different. But I don't respect them. Lyricists, I respect. Now, it's hard to respect someone who has rainbow colored hair, tattoos on their face, big ass grills, you know, they, they walk around with the strangest outfits on and they just talk shit and they take and lean. How do you respect that? Cause, I don't know, they're not role models, that's for sure. And he is wrapping circles around him because he's got a really nice flow and he's going really hard. I still don't know if it's just a flex song, but now he's calling out mumble rappers, so I think he's just going to be calling people out at the moment. Suppressing medication as they wear in skirts with a matching purse while they put in brazen. But that shit is just a fad and see I'm here to help to phase them all the fucking way out so real rappers can replace them. I'll take this shit upon myself. The fans deserve better than some kid who lacks intelligence and puts in zero effort. I mean, this shit is a job, right? Yeah. And see, these kids ain't even trying, son. If you ran a business and they work for you, you would fire them. So why you praising them for half assing the shit you listen to? Not dissing you. I'm just asking what the fuck has gotten into you. See, and he's not wrong it is a job like once you hit mainstream as an artist it's a job you know and you can't be given like young kids who haven't really experienced much yet in the world you know they don't know how to run a business they don't know how to keep their money they haven't been taught saving or you know investing in schools you can't expect them to just make responsible choices i don't know it's partly their fault but it's also partly i guess like you just aren't taught this sort of stuff at least in australia when i was at school there was no you know maybe in math you do a little bit of like um investing sort of math like what was it and you'll oh, i don't even know what i'm saying anymore see that's what school does it, i don't remember it I don't use it. It was that I equals PRT stuff. 
You know what I mean. If you know, you know. But that's all I learned about it. The rest, I, I got no other real life skills. I don't know how to invest. I don't know how to get like a perfect resume. I'm pretty happy with mine now, bro, but still. Like they just don't teach you the stuff you need to know for life. They teach you Pythagoras, which sure, if you're going into a job that needs it, it's useful, but not everybody is going to be a builder, an architect or anything like that. So there needs to be more focus on real life skills. And the result of not having this is mumble rapping kids who, you know, they're wasting their money, they're taking drugs, they don't know how to manage their savings. And then what you find is that a year, they have this big song, they're a fad for about a year, and then they fizzle out. You don't hear from them. You don't hear of them for a while, and then you find out, oh, they're broke, and they're going back to Burger King. I think, I think what I'm talking about. The main people I'm thinking of right now is Island Boys. I haven't heard their music or anything. Like I said, I'm not very, I'm very new to hip hop, but I've heard. You know, they had that one song, maybe two songs that were really big, and they've kind of just you don't hear about them anymore, and they're broke. They're in debt. So. I'm sorry, I've been talking too long. <laughs> Look, he's so young, and he's already replaced his teeth of gold. Shit you listen to, not dissing you. I'm just asking what the fuck has gotten sorry. into you. So you're the consumer, and it's your choice on what you're picking to. Put up in your Spotify and spend your time sifting through. And you're just giving bread to somebody who's way more rich than you, who can barely put together an English sentence in an interview. See? He's so right. Because uh, I've listened to like a couple interviews of mumble rappers, and they don't talk. They don't make sense. They kind of just, they kind of say yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh you know, yeah. You can't understand them. They don't speak, and they don't like. In comparison, a lyricist on a, you know, on a documentary or on a interview, they dissect what they're talking about. You know, they go into, like, their history. They talk. Because that's what they do. Lyricists talk. They tell you shit. Mumble rappers don't tell you anything. They just kind of sit there with a goofy grin and laugh. And uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to be just too dis disrespectful. Because I don't... I'm not in a position where I can say this music's trash. But the people are trash. If you like the music, you do you. But it's just not good marketing and business if you're going to waste all your money on gold and gems and drugs without investing and honing your career like you're not going to stay a good rapper forever you need to put work in somebody who's way more rich than you who can barely put together an english sentence in an interview see i'm a hooligan who be truly losing his cool again who's here to use his voice to bring the truth till i get through to them they feed us fake news again nobody want to listen it's no fault of ours me see i blame the politicians Fuck. Mm. so i think he's american obviously from the way he's kind of talking about the system but as an australian you know, we everybody has some bad politics. I'm not totally against the politics in Australia at the moment. Like, it's pretty good at the moment, I'd say, but there's still so many things that need changing. Like, it's such a strict environment. Like, even... Like... Even nicotine, I guess, vapes, you, for example, they're banned. Like, you cannot buy them unless you have a prescription. So now there's, you know, illegal nicotine devices going around they're not regulated so who knows what's in them same with things like marijuana for example i don't know if i can save it on youtube oops but that's like fully illegal you can't get that so you're resorting if you do it you're resorting to god knows where it could be laced it could be anything and it's gotten so bad lately that december they're banning menthol cigarettes Cigarettes are men following them. Like, why? You've got cigarettes, which are already bad for your health. And yeah, in Australia, they kind of raise the price by a big margin. Like, I think right now it's like $50 for a 20 pack or something, which is like $70 USD or something like that. I don't know. But it's ridiculous. And it's not helping anyone because people who are addicted are still addicted. So politicians, I guess... 
what I'm trying to say. They're so oblivious to what's actually happening. They they don't understand that people are hooked to this sort of stuff, and now by making it harder to get, you're simply not stopping them. You're making them do it illegally from sources that are unsafe. Now, if he talk, if he starts talking about American politics, I'm not the biggest like I don't know too much about it. Like I know the gist. American politics is always played on the news over here, but I'll try and follow along. But he seems very he seems very pro America, but anti politician. Yeah, nobody wanna listen. It's no fault of ours, me. See, I blame the politicians. Fuck Donald, fuck Ivanka, not for real. I fuck her brains out. Gotta ride me up in the oval on the same couch. Billy Clinton from the cushions trying to wipe the stains out. Cause Monica could just couldn't swallow what was in a dang mouth. I'm fuck <laughs> I completely forgot about Monica. Oh see I'm too young to like be around when this happened. I'm only nineteen, almost twenty. But it's like something you hear about still. Um, Bill Clinton. He's sleazy. He's like, it's proven that he's done stuff, obviously. Oh, but there's no consequences, of course. And on the stained couch. Couldn't swallow what was in a dang mouth. Obviously, I love that. Actually, I just got that. I obviously, couldn't swallow as in, you know the Gluck Gluck 3000, but also she couldn't keep her mouth shut, she couldn't stay quiet. So he's trying to get rid of the stains, get rid of the evidence. To wipe the stains out cause mana could just couldn't swallow what was in a dang mouth I'm fucking wild and fucking while I'm on that shit again, slapping Rex Nillison for trying to let him drill again. Oh yeah, Rex Nillison, um, he's the like oil tycoon I think, he's trying to I guess build new oil refineries and shit from what I've heard and he's like building the pipelines and he's basically just you know the big oil dude who destroying the world that's as far as I know about him I've heard the name and I've heard a bit about him on documentaries but that's as far as I know Listen for trying to let him drill again Light his oil money on fire Like every villain then they'll put me on a list Cause see you know them bitches listening In Jeff Sessions you could suck a dick Until your throat hurts you Jeff Session, I don't know how to say his last name He is I don't know what his official position is But I remember he was in the news For basically trying to Make drug laws Like marijuana in particular More strict I think he was, I think he's a is he just a mayor, um, or is he like a part of a senate? I'm not too sure, but I know he has something to do with like trying to make drug laws stricter. I, I think he'll say it anyway, probably. See, you know them bitches listening yeah. in Jeff Sessions. You could suck a dick until your throat hurts. You old smurf trying to take my weed, never yeah. gonna work. I'll be lighting up a doobie out on your turf. And Kid Rock, you ain't been cool since <laughs> Joe Dirt. I'm not <laughs> Joe Dirt. I uh, love Joda. Uh, Kid Rock. I don't have any problem with him because I'm not American and I'm I'm not into the politics or anything. But I know he's kind of very. I don't know if it's right or left. I don't know my rights, but my lefts. But I know he's very on one side to the point where he's kind of just spreading his thoughts. And you know, no one likes someone who just constantly talks about what they like politically. Uh, Kid Rock is. I don't know. I don't like his music that much anymore, and his acting is meh. Joe Dirt was fun, but I don't have any thoughts about him because, like I said, I'm not American, so I don't know what he's been doing. Be out on your turf, and Kid Rock, you ain't been cool since Joe Dirt. I'm out on Scott Pruitt's property, fracking it, and build a pipeline through his wooden kitchen cabinets. These scummy politicians, yo, I've had it, bitch. I'ma take a knee with Colin. I don't know who Scott Pruitt is, so. That's the first one I haven't caught from the names he's listed out. So if you can let me know what he, he's done with his little pipelines that Rebbie has mentioned, let me know. Um, and I think he mentioned Colin Kaepernick? Cabinets, these scummy politicians, yo, I've had it, bitch. I'm a take a knee with Colin Kaepernick yelling, fuck the establishment. Obviously, we know about his taking a knee thing. 
I'm not going to go into that because I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not American. You know, I can't talk. I, I don't feel like I can talk about what's going on in America. Um, but there's stuff happening and, you know, stand up for what you believe in, I guess. Yo, I've had it, bitch. I'ma take a knee with Colin Kaepernick yelling, fuck the establishment. And Ted Cruz, your face puts me in a shit. Ted Cruz, he's a commentator, isn't he? I don't know if he's in the Senate or anything, or if he's actually like a political figure, but I know he's like a commentator on politics. Red, is Red? Red is lib- no. I'm gonna search it up real quick, because- sorry guys. Um, Ted Cruz, because- yeah, he's a senator, okay. And a Republican, so Republicans are red. So I know he's been a controversial figure just because he's very, very, you know, against whatever views he doesn't agree with. Once again, I can't comment. I I could, but I don't want to get into politics that I'm not involved with. If you guys want me to, I will, but I, I just feel like people should believe in what they want to believe in. Um, unless it's obviously immoral. You know, I've got my own beliefs, and some of the stuff that happens in America, I can't agree with, because I don't know what's going on there. You know, I don't know. Australia's pretty open and diverse at the moment. We're kind of getting better with time, especially compared to, like, the white Australia policy back in, like, the 1900s. But I'm not in any place to comment, I don't think. But if you want me to, I'll try and give my thoughts but for the first video i'm not gonna risk it ted cruz your face puts me in a shitty mood there's so much bitch in you that you probably have a clinton boot and marco rubio you're soft as fuck and ben carson uh, yo can someone wake ben carson up fuck these nazis in the white nationalist i'll grab that costco tiki torch and fucking smack <laughs> you with it over and over till your skull fragments are cracking and shit why the cops give them a slap on the wrist for real though but mm. You know, a lot of talk about police in America. Can't comment. From what, from what I've experienced, police in Australia are pretty... Uh, you know, I'm not going to say, you know. Um, I like police, you know. If you respect them, they'll respect you. But that's not the case everywhere. So I can understand, you know, the controversies between them. Especially what he's saying. That doesn't change. You know, if you're a politician or you're rich, police aren't going to do nothing. <laughs> I love the Costco Tiki Torch line as well. We don't have, I don't think we got many Costco's in Australia, but I've seen them and, you know, they've got the iconic, you know, they sell everything and they've got the Tiki Torches, obviously. Uh. Fragments are cracking and shit. Why the cops give them a slap on the wrist? For real though. But yo, Hillary, really? You think that I wouldn't mention you? Just because I tend to be liberal with all my general views? But you're an evil lady, say it because I've got to. I'm down to have a woman president, just not you. You Claire Underwood ass. <laughs> Claire Underwood. Uh. Listen, this is what I'm going to say about this. Hillary. <laughs> has a track record that I don't support. You know, having a woman present, I'm sure would be great for a lot of people, but she's just proven herself to be the same as every other politician at this rate. You know, you got the email scandal, you've got, uh, what's it called, Benghazi. Um, you know, she's just, there's too much that she's been involved with, I guess, and if I was an American, of all the stuff that she's supposedly done, I wouldn't trust her with the country. That's all I'm going to say about that. But then again, the alternative, you know, it was a lose-lose, but I've got my views, you know. I, Donald Trump in Australia isn't seen as bad, I suppose, because all I know about Donald Trump is, you know, the YouTube clips where he's saying true stuff, like he's saying good stuff. I never really see the, the bad stuff, but I know he is known for saying some bad stuff, so I'm not going to get into it, you know. I, I don't want a war, and, you know, I'm just an Australian teenage, young adult, so what do I know? Tend to be liberal with all my general views, but you're an evil lady. She is an evil lady. I'm, down I'm sorry, she is evil. She's... There's nothing more. 
have a woman president, just not, not you. you. You Claire Underwood ass bitch, you wicked witch, flying through your fucking teeth every single chance that you get. I'ma slap her so hard that she'll be leaving in a gurney while I'm yelling out, long live Bernie. Now with that segment. What's the meme? The, the Bernie Sanders meme. I'm once again asking for your financial support. Look, Bernie's just. I don't know anything about him, really, so I don't know his politics. But he's just like a cute old man, really. You he, he just... He's too old, though, I feel like. Um, but that's most presence. But he's a socialist, from what I've heard. And I don't know, I guess, what America's stance on socialism is. Obviously, it's similar to communism in a way. I think Australia is, like... It's got some socialist elements, but I'm pretty sure it's mostly democratic. Um, I don't know. There's so much to go into about politics that I'm scared to go into because, you know, I'm just a young, like I'm, I'm tw almost twenty. I, I, sorry, there'll be a little cut here because I ran out of memory on my C drive, so I had to move some stuff to a hard drive. I don't know what I was talking about, honestly. It's only a couple minutes later, but I think I was just talking about the same thing about, you know, I have no. I can't say anything because I'm not American and I feel like it's not my place. So far, you know, I must say though, I've really enjoyed his style. He's he's so lyrical. It's fire. I'm saying that it's fire. I wish I could relate to it a bit more just to get you guys a better reaction. But I'm not American, so <laughs> there's only so much I can say about with without offending people, and I don't want to offend people right now because you know I'm new and. I'm just an Australian, you know, not my place to say. I'm yelling now, long live Bernie. Bernie. Now if that segment just defended you, then please relax. We're all on the same side, it ain't about white or black. It's mm. Exactly, we're all humans at the end of the day. Defended you, then please relax. We're all on the same side, it ain't about white or black. It's about the one percenters versus everybody else. Us against the politicians who only helping themselves. Yeah. Yo, fuck it. I guess I'm just a rapper. What do I know, man? About the world, how it turns, and who's behind those plans. But still, I'm all up in this bitch just like a gyno's hands. And while I'm here. In this bitch, like a gyno's hand. Bitch. Being. You know, a very mean way to say woman. And a gyno, obviously. Gynecologist. Okay. He got the funny bars here as well. I think it's ending now, but... um, I'll get my final thoughts at the end before I keep talking. Who's behind those plans? But still I'm all up in this bitch just like a gyno's hands. And while I'm here, I'm gonna take a stand. Raw thoughts. Fuck everybody, man. As much as I joke around about things, you know, this shit is dead serious. Yeah, you know, it is serious because it's it's his country, you know? I'd be the same if, you know, the Australian politicians were as bad. And there are some bad Australian politicians. I'm not going to name any because I'm, you know, it's, I'm not going to talk about politics so far yet. But there are some that I don't agree with. But, you know, they're running the country. They should be doing a better job. You know, they think about themselves, not the entire country. The one percenters, you know, the rich people as well. Like, yeah, they make donations maybe sometimes. What else do they do? They, you know, they rig elections probably. They, you know, they have inside information on the stock market sometimes. Like Pelosi, I know she's got something to do with that. I'm not going to get into it, not going to get into it. As much as I joke around about things, you know, this shit is dead serious. Fuck where this country is headed. You know, who did I not mention? Oh, yeah, my. Before I say anything, I'm gonna turn this off. Before I say anything, when was this released? Five years ago. So, what was five years ago? 2017, no, 2018. Either 2017 or 2018, because it's only getting over 2023. So, I gotta keep that in mind when he's, he speaks. I think he's gonna continue rapping, so. More bars. Where this you know? Who did I not mention? Oh yeah, Mike Pence. See, I forgot to slay you. But really? Got mm. Okay, Mike Pence. He is... I don't know if at this time he was the vice president. I know he has been vice president. And I know he was very 
anti-LGBT around this sort of time. Yeah, I forgot to slay you, but really, God hates you, along with every gay dude and lesbian. It's very evident that you're a scum-sucking bitch vice president. Yeah, vice president. Who else? Oh, Paul Ryan? Shit, I hope you go rock climbing and your hand slips and you lose grip and you fall diving onto a bunch of fucking dicks. You fucking bitch. I hope you... Paul Ryan, that's a familiar name. Is he the, is he the one who, uh, he was like a representative. Crap. I actually don't remember. He was a Republican. I don't know what he was known for though. Let me have a look if I can find anything on him. Sorry, uh, I want to know because I want to get the sort of context behind why he's dissing Paul Ryan. So, I don't know. Let me know because from all I know about Paul Ryan was that he was a nominee for Mitt Romney in like 2012, 2013, whenever it was that, you know, they were going at it. I think he was also, he was in the House of Representatives, but I think he was either a speaker Or he was like just a kind of um, PAC, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know because I want to know why he's dissing this dude. All I know is he's a politician and I think he was a speaker in the representative house. Fucking dick, you fucking bitch. I hope your health insurance doesn't cover it. Who else? I'm not going to make a joke about health insurance because, you know, some reason, not saying everyone, but some reason free health insurance is a bad thing. But personally, I don't like paying for stuff and getting like surgery for a hundred bucks is really nice. I've got some surgery stories I won't talk about now, but you know, health insurance is nice and all. But from what I hear, America just hasn't really bad and. People think, you know, the taxes that we have to pay are super bad to cover health insurance, but really it's just not that bad because we get paid like enough to cover it usually. I don't want to get into it. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't want to get into this because I don't know how I feel yet because a lot of people watching this will be first time watchers because it's a new artist. Um, look, if you want me to speak out and say what I really think, from now on i can do that but if i want to just tread waters lightly for the first video or so because i don't know what the response will be i wasn't expecting this way it was it's really dope i hope your health insurance doesn't cover it who else i'll crack a coke brother like i crack a coke can cremate a coke brother and i'll snort them out my hands what bitch raw thoughts <laughs> these are my raw thoughts my fuck Okay, I also don't know who the Coke brothers are, so if you can let me know who that is as well. Um, I like the skimmy to like, I'll crack a Coke brother like a cracker Coke can. It's a line off my hand. Um, so, if you can let me know anyone I missed, please let me know because I kind of want to, um, you know, exp I, I like politics. Like, I'm not deep in politics, but I like learning about it. I'm a very big history nerd. Like, oh, I know so much history shit. And I also really enjoy geography. So I feel like politics is just naturally something I'll be into. Even though, like, politics is annoying. But, um, uh, just, you know, you can let me know. That'd be really appreciated. These are my raw thoughts, my fucker. Raw thoughts. This message has been bought, paid for, and forced upon you by George Soros and the fake news networks of America. Raw thoughts, motherfucker. Webby Wednesday. Okay, um... So we have the George Soros, you know, insert there. All I know about him is he may be involved in American banks and he's known for having a trust fund, I think. I think he's like Hungarian or Austro-Hungarian. I'm not sure, but I know he's 
you know, he's he's oppo- supposedly putting money into all this stuff. You know, he's just one of those people. Rich dude. Pay for what he wants. Um, listen, this is dope. As much as, you know, as much as he spat about stuff I'm not too familiar with or I'm not comfortable talking about because it's not my country, the way he rapped was so good. His flow, he kind of had a nice little scheme going every once in a while. He had really good lines like the Coke Brothers, Coke Can, I mean, Cocaine Reference, you know, the Costco Tiki Torch. And this is five years ago, so, you know, I want to hear some new recent stuff as well. And this is number one of five, so if these are like his raw thoughts, like it's about stuff he wants to talk about, I can get into this. I really can. So, you know, please let me know any more by Chris Webby or any other artist, really, that you enjoy. I'm sorry if this was a bit of a rough episode. I had no idea what I was getting into, and, you know, I paused a bit too much, I think, but sorry about that. Um, any recommendations, you know, any criticism, feedback, please let me know, because I want to give quality content for all of you. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. More Chris Webby songs, leave them below, and I'll catch you later.